I'm now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of Hedgesville football, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, your team falls 45-7 to to Morgantown last week. Overall, what were your thoughts on that game? Uh, I mean, I, I thought we competed well early. Uh, you know, we we come out, you know, we give up one early, but uh, then we go down the field, score, um, get a you hold them, make them punt, get the ball back. We're driving, uh, you know, then we, you know, we lose the snap, um, you know, then we get a punt, get the ball back. I mean, it was we we held them pretty good early. Um, it was just one one key play. Uh, they got a pick six with about three minutes left in the half that, you know, took all the wind out of the sails. And, you know, but I thought we came back out in the second half. We competed well there at the beginning of the third through the third, uh, and then over time, you know, two late touchdowns, uh, you know, sort of sealed the deal. What were some other things that maybe stood out to you in that game? I know you kind of just touched on that it was a. Uh, score-wise, very close first half, but in that second half, Morgantown just kind of broke away. I think the biggest thing right now is we're trying to create depth, uh, you know, because after, after our ones, you know, it, it gets sort of scarce. Uh, we had a couple guys out, uh, starters out with pneumonia on Friday night. And some young guys filled in there, they, and they played really well, played really hard. Um, so right now I think the biggest thing is, you know, sustaining drives, which, you know, that first drive, and when we went down and punched it in, and you know that's the that's what we're capable of. So, for us, they just got to understand what we're capable of and keep executing and, and keep working and keep getting better. So, I mean, the competitive nature of the kids have changed in the last couple of weeks, which is good to hear. However, you you look here at just how these results have been, and the offense still struggling here during this losing streak. What what are some more things that you're able to try to? figure out to get that funk to finally get out of the system of the offense? I mean, keep working on the basics. I mean, we had over 300 yards of total offense. Uh, So, I mean, it ain't like we weren't moving – we wasn't moving the ball. Uh, It's just once you get down inside that red zone, you got to be able to finish it. So, for us, it's it's working on the little things, making sure we're staying on blocks for the entire drive, uh, making sure that we're hitting the right routes, running the right routes, running our routes at 100%. But, I mean, overall, it's – I mean, it's just – you know, when you get 300 yards of total offense and you only put seven points on the board, it's, I mean, it can get frustrating. But at the end of the day, a lot of young kids playing in key roles and they're learning slowly but surely. They're learning. Who are some of those young guys that you've seen really kind of grow into that spot week in, week out, given the opportunity? Yeah, I know one, one that jumps off, you know, right out to me is Woody Smith. Uh, you know, Woody, Woody's new to football in the last couple of years and the progression that he's taken over last year and into this year, he's a big part for us uh, defensively and our outside linebacker. But on Friday night, he had a really good night uh, as a wide receiver. Um, him, Chris Williams, uh, sophomore, playing a lot of minutes for us. Uh, we were without him Friday night, but for the last couple of weeks, he's really competed hard. Uh, Zabin Rush, uh, a junior, first year playing football, is starting to figure it out. Um, I mean, we got so many kids that it's young kids that are new to football or new to bar, uh, even football in the last two years that these reps and these these, these game reps are going to pay dividends going into next year. Looking ahead here, the schedule doesn't get any easier for you guys this week as you get ready to take on Herbert Hoover, a team that is undefeated so far, uh, trying to look here at where they're ranked, but still, nonetheless, a very tough uh, <laughs> matchup. No matter where they are, just looking at the record, uh, fourth in AAA. What stands out to you about them? I mean, we went down and played them last year. I mean, we know, we know what we're getting with the quarterback. The kid's a uh, phenomenal athlete, quarterback, football player. Um, you know, he, he can run, he can throw. They're big up front. Um, they're really. They pursue the football really well on defense. Uh, they get after you. Um, I mean, they're and, and Coach Fields does a really, really, really good job down there of getting those guys locked in and, and ready to compete. What's kind of the mentality for your team heading into this week's matchup against them? Just keep getting better at what we're trying to do, and and it's and I mean for us, it's it's you know we've competed in quarters. Now we got to go compete for a whole game, and you know and when when you your young guys. You know, they've never been through that fight of facing adversity 
and how to respond. You know, over the last couple of weeks, it's gotten better. Um, but at the end of the day, we got to be able to respond better and quicker to adversity and get back on track and, and, and keep ourselves in the ball game with a chance to win. All right, Coach Faircloth, anything else? If not, we'll get to the fun question. No, that's it. Fun question is uh, with Halloween tomorrow growing up, what were uh, some of your favorite Halloween costumes that you got to wear? And this year, are you wearing uh, any Halloween costume? <laughs> Uh, uh, I I grew up. We didn't have a lot of money, so I was always uh, uh, dressed up as a hobo because it was easier for us because we already had all that stuff. But uh, this year, no, I won't be dressed up. I'll be most likely I'll be at the the volleyball game tomorrow night supporting our girls. Got to come dressed up. I'm coming dressed up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> at least I tried. Thank you for the time, Coach. All right, man. Appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank you.